Hey, what's going on everybody? Jump Rope to Freedom, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing four jump ropes with you that I would not recommend and that I personally would not buy again. And I'm gonna go into detail about why I would not purchase these jump ropes again and why I don't think it'd be a good fit for most people. That being said, everybody's different. Some people are gonna disagree with my assessment, which is fine. Everyone's got a different jumping style. Everyone's got different fitness goals that they're trying to achieve. These are just my personal four that I would not recommend and that I would not recommend to you and that I would not buy again. Well, I'm not sponsored by any of these companies. I have not been paid to make these assessments. One of the things about this channel is I don't have any sponsorship so that I can provide you with my 100% honest opinion that is free of conflict of interest. So make sure that you keep that in mind as you watch this video. And if you disagree with any of my assessments, I would welcome any feedback that you have. Definitely leave that feedback in the comment section below. All right, please subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, share the channel with your friends, follow me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram. All right, let's get into it. check it out the first rope that i would not recommend and that i would not buy again is the rush athletics money rope this is going to come as a surprise to a lot of people because rush athletics is really popular people are buying his rope left and right which is fine and this is not meant as a diss or any kind of disrespect to Rush Athletics. I think that his YouTube channel is actually pretty good. When I first started jumping rope, I found his YouTube channel and I learned a lot of the basics from him. So I think that his, his teaching style and his teaching method is actually pretty good. So if you tune into his channel, that's a good thing if you're trying to learn the basics of jump rope. But his rope, is not a good rope. It's too expensive in my mind. It's like 17 USD. You can get this same rope without the Rush Athletics name that rubs off anyway on RX Gear's website. And it's like $7 per rope. So this is not a special rope. There's nothing special about it. One of the problems I have is the way that it's sold, right? It's marketed as this iconic money rope and all that and it's just not it's a regular five millimeter pvc cord with plastic handles that are probably mass manufactured somewhere and that are ordered in bulk and shipped in bulk i understand that everybody's got to make money and you have to make a profit but 17 dollars for this rope is way too much this rope i had another one before this and it broke after like three months of using it for like 15 minutes a day so it's not a strong rope it doesn't hold up well and it's just too expensive for what you get there's no real value with it it does perform reasonably well but the rope is no good if it breaks on you and you shouldn't have a rope break on you when you've been using it for like 15, 20 minutes a day, three or four days a week, which is what I was using it for. The number one rope that I would not recommend is the Rush Athletics Speed Rope or the Money Rope, I think is what it's called. And then there's another one out there. I think it's called the Honor Athletics Rope. There was some kind of beef between those two probably like six or seven months ago. And I'm pretty sure that Honor Athletics is the same he uses the same manufacturer but his rope is actually even more expensive it's like 26 dollars and if it's the same as this rope you definitely don't want to be paying that much money for this design this is a cheap rope and you can get it if you want it from the rx website or, or the rogue website one of the two and they sell it for pretty cheap and again, this is not meant as a diss to Honor Athletics or Rush Athletics. I think both of them are pretty talented jumpers and, and Rush Athletics has a lot of great tutorials on his channel. But this rope right here in particular is not a rope that I would recommend to anybody moving forward. The second
second rope that I would not recommend is the Title Boxing 499 rope. Now, yeah, it's a cheap rope. It's only $5, but the one concern I have with this rope is, is that if you're new to jumping and you don't wanna spend that much money on a jump rope because you are not sure if you might like it, you might get a rope that's really cheap like this. And a rope that's cheap like this that doesn't perform well, that offers very little feedback, that tangles a lot, is going to cloud your view of jump rope. Whereas if you invested in a really good rope like a cross rope, Get Lean, or one of the cross rope products, or one of the Buddy Lee products, that would give you a better idea of what a jump rope can do for you. This rope is cheap, it doesn't perform very well, and I mean, it's probably not even worth $5. I got it just to see how it performed versus more expensive ropes like the mid-tier mid ropes like the Buddy Lee ropes and the premium jump ropes like the Cross Rope Get Lean, Get Strong, and the Bolt. And it's definitely, I would definitely advise you to invest a little bit more money in a jump rope and to not get a cheap rope like this because it's going to, again, it's going to give you a false impression of how jump rope can help you and that there are better jump ropes out there that actually help you rather than hinder your ability to jump. So the second rope that I would not recommend to you is the $5 title boxing rope from Title, it's just not very good, it's very cheap, doesn't perform well, and there are better ropes out there that you can get for $20, $30 that will give you a much better experience. All right, the third jump rope that I would not recommend is the Nike Fundamental Speed Rope. And I did a review on this, I think it's been like five months and it's been received pretty well on YouTube and people have been generally thankful that I shared my opinion about this rope and kind of steered them away from it. Nobody really said that they love this rope. This rope isn't that good because it's really complicated to set up. You have to cut this little cord here. You have to find a pair of wire cutters and most of the time when people don't know anything about jump rope and they're just starting, they're not gonna have the knowledge to go out and find a cross rope or a buddy lee. They're gonna go straight to their sporting store and try to find a jump rope there. And that's what I, at least that's what I did. So I went to Dick's Sporting Goods when I first started jumping rope to try to find, try to find a decent rope. And this is what I found, that this was all I found. This was the only thing I could find and it looked pretty cool, so I got it but I didn't know much about jump rope and I didn't have a set of wire cutters so I couldn't adjust it. And so I had to, I made a mistake on the first one then I had to take that back. They gave me another one, which is this one. I sized it pretty well. But then the other problem was when I finally did get it set up, the other problem is the cord. The cord is way too thin and it doesn't provide good interaction and feedback with these handles. These handles aren't too bad but they just don't go well with the cord. I think that these handles would work pretty well if it was a maybe a four millimeter or five millimeter PVC cord or a more heavy cord here, a more heavy plastic cord here, but it just doesn't work very well. This doesn't work all that well for me. There are a lot of people that have this rope and I think a lot of people like it, but for me, I wouldn't recommend it. It's just too thin and the handles and the cord do not interact with each other very well. So the third rope that I would not recommend to you is the Nike Fundamental Speed Rope right here. Finally, the fourth rope that I would not recommend to you is the Double Under Wonder. And I feel kind of bad about this because my wife got this for me for my birthday a couple years ago, but she knows how I feel about it and she understands. And I've done a review on this one as well. One of the reasons I wouldn't recommend this rope is because like the Nike Fundamental Rope, there's very little interaction and synergy between the handle and the rope. You just don't get the feel of it there. I can do, I mean, I've done 300, 400 double unders in a row before, so I can do double unders pretty well. And this rope just 
you can't I just can't get a feel for it when I'm doing double unders it's really difficult and also this rope is only for double unders I have a lot of other double under rope like the Buddy Lee supersonic speed rope the MS mil spec one you can still do regular jumps with those and use them as kind of a warm-up or cool down rope this rope is really difficult to do single unders with it's it's extremely difficult to do them with and I'm just really not sure why the only thing that I can surmise is that the materials are just cheap that the materials are cheap the handles are just regular plastic handles the cord it just is kind of flimsy and cheap so i just think it's not very well made and the products that it's made from are not of high quality and it's just really hard to get a feel for it as you start to jump more you will gravitate towards certain ropes that are easier to get a feel for that just make jumping easier because that's what it's about it's about making it as easy as possible to get a good workout in and this rope is just not very easy to use so the fourth and final rope that i would not recommend to you at the time of this recording is the double under wonder speed rope it's 26 dollars i think with the material that they use here they could probably price this rope if they were going to sell it they could probably price this rope for maybe 10 or 15 dollars because it just feels cheap to me hey everyone thanks a lot for tuning in to this video today again no disrespect to any of the companies that made the ropes that i wouldn't recommend my goal on this channel is to give you 100 percent honest advice about any of the products i use whether it's jump rope different supplements that I take or different foods or drinks that I'm consuming to optimize my health. And part of that involves telling the truth if a product doesn't quite measure up to what I think it should measure up to. No disrespect, no disses intended to Rush Athletics, Nike, Tidal, or Double Under Wonder. There's actually ropes. I actually use products from Nike. I'm wearing a pair of Nikes right now. So just because the jump rope isn't good doesn't mean they don't make other products. Rush Athletics, he has some outstanding tutorials on YouTube. I've commented on his videos before. I've learned a ton from him. I learned the Double Under Cross from one of his tutorials that really helped me out. So again, what I'm doing is I'm assessing what I think of the product i'm not assessing it's not a whole person or whole company assessment all right so let's just get that straight there i'm not saying that these people are no good or these companies are no good as a whole i'm just saying that these specific products that they're putting out i don't feel measure up and therefore i feel like i can't recommend them to you thanks a lot for tuning in please subscribe hit that thumbs up button follow me on instagram at jump rope veteran facebook at jump rope veteran you can subscribe to my weekly tuesday newsletter that i send out every tuesday around like 10 a.m eastern time that's completely free it always will be you can check me out on patreon you can join me for some live workouts that i do during the week that's 100 percent free as well so until next time stay healthy stay safe stay hydrated jump rope to freedom peace everybody thanks a lot for your support